So, uh, yeah, we're just on our way home and uh, we noticed one of the cane fields was on fire. So we thought, we'll come have a look, see if they're going to have a big cane fire. Uh, but it's not. They're just like burning the cane trash, which is still all right. Have a look. Yeah, so I was just asking him if he's going to burn the full field next, but he's not. So, yeah. And uh, that's how they get rid of the cane trash when they don't want to bail it up in the cubes. Yeah, it's so cool. Dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, and welcome to Escape the Echo Chamber with Niels Cat and Ben. And today we've left Bundaberg, we've headed west, and we are at Bigenden. Behind me here is uh, spectacular Mount Walsh National Park. We're heading up the road, and we're going to go and see Utopia Falls on uh, Waterfall Creek. So yeah, this is going to be epic. Alright, so uh, welcome to the car park at Utopia Falls. It's uh, about a half hour drive, uh, probably about 15 minutes off of the black stuff down the dirt road. And then if you're following, if you're following Google to get here, you want to go to Utopia Road or put in Utopia Falls and it'll show you where it is. You can get here pretty easy from Maribor and you can get here pretty easy from Biggin. So yeah, definitely come check this out. Uh, it's worth going like off the highway through Biggin and then coming back out on the highway at Childers or Jinjin to come and see this on your way through. So yeah, let's uh, get up the track and see what's in there. Bit of weather coming in out the back, but like, don't you worry about that. It'll be fine. So yeah, she's a bit of a hike down to the rock pool. And then uh, once you sort of get down to the creek, there's no actual track or nothing. You're kind of like climbing rocks and things. So like, probably wouldn't bring me grandma here, but uh, most people would be all right. Uh, a couple of other things. Uh, the, this was like, the mountain here was first climbed, I think it said 1847. And uh, then the guy, he settled here and uh, had cow and sheep farms, of course. So what else did you do back then? In Queensland, yeah. And, uh, and then uh, in, uh, I think it said 1947 or something, that was uh, declared a national park mm. after the loggers had finished cutting down. Uh, all the old growth trees so uh, yeah there's uh, not a lot of old growth trees left in here if any all right so we're just about down to the creek now it's about a 10 minute walk or so it wasn't too bad and now uh, we get some views now of the mountain and some of the rock faces up there in the, the first valley all right I can hear the water let's get down there oh yeah while we're still in the bush a little bit can you hear the birds this has been like one of the most epic spots for listening to birds. Mm. Yeah, it's just flat out and so many different types. It's been mad. Alright, so this is uh, Waterfall Creek and uh, that is Utopia Falls. And, uh, it's more utopic last time we were here. Yeah, I kind of thought there'd be more water last time we come here. This was, the water was only just like here somewhere. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this was all full, but, uh, it still should be really epic. You can see, like, the pools are clear as in here, and it's all nice, clean granite and that. There's, like, no dirt runoff in here. It's so pristine. Let's, uh, get up there. So cool. They all just scattered, but you can see the fish in here. Clear as day. And, uh... Like that clear, I can even tell you what they are. They're either rainbow gudgeons or empire gudgeons. See him just there? That's bad. Last time we were here in the bigger holes, there was uh, little perch and stuff stuck in there too. So hopefully we can get a look at some of them. But yeah, this is just the first tiny little hole. It's so nice here. I'd, uh, sitting under this tree on a 40 degree day would be epic. And just in there, oh yeah. So beautiful. I was really hoping this would be flowing a lot better. Like there has been little bits of rain around, but it's just really dank and black in there. Like it is still clear though. But last time we were here, this was crystal clear. And uh, we were sitting here throwing bits of bread in, feeding all the fish. And uh, today 
Yeah, why is it so There's just like this. And now I'm getting buzzed by big flies. Go away, big flies. <laughs> Landed on my phone there. Yeah. Ah. No, they're going to bite me. Ah. As we get a bit higher, it's getting a bit nicer and uh, you can start to see the bottom in these pools, but they're still a bit, just a bit dark and murky looking. Mm. When there's enough water, you can like slippery dip down all these rocks here, eh? Not today. No, I wouldn't try it today. <laughs> this looks like the rock pool for me. That one's a bit deep and dark still. How six are look down there. Uh, so I'm gonna do it. I'm not much of a water person or a cold person, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gotta be done while you're here. <laughs> you're breathing pretty heavy, but <laughs> you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Utopia Falls at uh, Waterfall Creek in Mount Walsh National Park between Biggerton and Maryborough is an epic spot. Uh, come down and go for a swim. Uh, even if there wasn't, like, you want to come when it's been a bit of rain, you need mm. some water flow while you're swimming in stagnant holes. So yeah, try and time it like that. But otherwise, like yeah, it's epic. Uh, we'll keep having a quick look around and then uh, we'll find out where we're camping tonight later. Yeah, it's so, so cool here. When we were here about 12 months ago, there were so many more little trees and rocks and things clinging to the riverbed and stuff all the way down here. And it's all just been demolished by the, the rains we had at the start of the year. Like... It, I don't know how high it got in here, but I'm guessing it was like a long way up here. It's a it's a pretty cool mountain range, and uh, yeah, it's going to pump a lot of water down this at times. You can do these as slippery dips if you're keen enough. Um, we are not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I'm no. <laughs> really that keen, but yeah, all that bit slippery as, and you'll just you want to, you want more water in there, and it, I I did it last year. It was pretty cool. Oh man, there's some fish down there, and there's a big turtle now. Check him out. There he goes. I spat in the water, and they all run up and went whack, 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 and smashed it. And then the turtle come up to see what's going on. Hmm, so fish like eating spit. Here you go, fun fact for the day. I don't know where the turtle went. Oh, but yeah, there is a chance that they could be Mary River turtles in here, because this would definitely flow into... Mare River catchment, and I guess that means there could be Mare River cod in here too. Same deal, flows into that catchment. Oh man, the bush flies here. They're angry today. Are crazy. Yeah. yeah, like all the time, there's like at least five of them swarming us. Yeah. They keep, they go for the back of your elbows, like they're smart, man. Oh, you they got one know, on your wrist. Oh, on your wrist. Oh, you can't even feel oh. them. Oh, like they're there, like trying to bite you. And oh, things. it's on the back of your one phone on your now. Oh, I got that one. Let's have a look at him. Here he is. They're uh, really, really tough customers, these flies. <laughs> but uh, what I noticed that's really cool is that when you squash them, if you, like, chuck them down here, then you can watch the birds eat them. Mm. Well, not the birds. <laughs> the fish. <laughs> there he goes. I might have missed it. Damn. But you get the idea. Epic spot. Uh, so I think it's time to go and uh, get away from these flies. <laughs> I'm still killing them, eh? There's another one there. You're for the fish now. See you later. <laughs> See you um, oh, yeah, he got taken straight away. Mm -hmm. They know now. Oh, they're on my fingers. Yeah, ah, okay. Uh, we'll see you back at the car. All right, so we're out of the creek and back into the bush, and then flies are gone, <laughs> thank God. But the weird thing is, you can still always hear just this light buzzing here, but you can't like see anything. So, always there. Yeah, and uh, so I don't know what it is, but it sounds like there's like beehives in the trees here or something. 
It's uh yeah, pretty cool, but you can't see anything. This is a bush turkey. <laughs> and uh yeah, so we're back to the car park. Now we're gonna go head back out towards the highway near Marybrough and uh go and find somewhere to stay for the night. Mm -hmm. We kinda wanna stay at or near Borpal because we've done all the Tyro. Borpal's got some cool stuff we want to check so, out. Apparently you pronounce it Boppel, hey? Oh, it's Boppel. <laughs> Bobble, Boppel, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Spell it better then. <laughs> so we'll see you uh, tomorrow now, probably. Dun, 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 dun.